Hi everybody, welcome to this pseudo unboxing video. Um, I actually had already taken the ELAD out of the box and powered it up and then I thought, well, actually, some of you or a lot of you wouldn't mind seeing what was in the box with it. So um, I'm just gonna quickly uh, run through that. I explained on my previous email um, that the, the need to buy another uh, FDM Duo is because I exchanged my original FDM Duo plus some other equipment for the uh, Icom IC8600, which is a brilliant bit of kit as well. Um, but it didn't take me very long, only a few days to realize that although the Icom and the ELAD are very similar in performance, um, I much prefer the FDM SW2 software with ELAD to the uh, SDR console that I'm using with the Icom, although that is good. Um, and I think, although I originally thought that the ELAD had, was quite a bit more sensitive than the ICOM on HF, um, I subsequently realized that you kind of have to find a balance between the RF gain on that rig and the use of the uh, preamp because you can overload, even that ICOM can be overloaded with a Wellbrook um, in, a, uh, in a band where there's a lot of big signals. So um, they're actually pretty close. I still think the ELAD is actually slightly more sensitive on HF than the ICOM, but so close as to it not really make any difference. But nevertheless, I was still decided that I couldn't live my life without uh, an, an FDM duo. So um, I purchased this one, as you know. So what's in the box? So what's interesting to start with is that you get this quick start guide. And as soon as I saw that, I recognized it because that's exactly the same as I got with my FDM duo, that I, my original one bought, that I bought a few years ago. Um, so I don't think that's changed. And you also get a kind of like a wee waste kind of notification. Uh, in the box. I don't believe I got one of these um, when I got my original FDM Duo. I'm pretty sure that's a mouse mat, which is welcome nevertheless. Um, I mean, obviously this rig is designed to be used standalone mode, but also with a computer uh, as an SDR. So uh, mouse mat is obviously a reasonable thing to, to have and quite useful. So I appreciate that. Um, the rig itself, so my original ELAD, as you know, was red. I think that was a kind of a, a Martin Lynch kind of special edition. Um, this time it's black. I like it in the black. It's the, the quality of the finish on these radios is really something else. These sort of machined, this machined aluminium body. Um, uh, yeah, it's really, really good, the quality overall, except power switch on the back. I can remember years ago someone complaining that they thought the power switch for a radio that cost you know 800 pounds was pretty cheap and they preferred it if they um, they preferred a higher quality switch. Um, I sort of get that but um, as you know I used my original FDM Duo for um, several years never had a problem with it. Um, other than that it's just high quality stuff. I'm not going to go through the specs on it because it's been around years you know you know you know the deal there's there's three antenna uh, inputs um, and uh, one of them's got a kind of hardwired in um, bandpass filter, uh, I think, or, hype, or uh, some kind of filtering. Um, uh, standard SO239 connector. Um, I've never actually grounded mine. That is actually a good idea, but I've never actually bothered to do that. Um, what a real a sort of high end feature of this radio is the sort of 10 megahertz referencing input. You wouldn't you don't, wouldn't normally see that on a rig that even if even though it costs a few hundred pounds. Um, so yeah, it's a high quality piece of kit. Hasn't changed as far as I can see in the years that in several years that it's been available on the market. Um, so yeah, happy with that. So also in the box. Um, so this is the uh, USB A B cable. Um, they supplied the uh, ferrite core with it, which I've attached um, to help reduce noise being picked up uh, on the shielding. Um, so that's useful. There, I think there's at least a couple more, or at least one more, uh, supplied with it. So there's another one, a spare. Um, I read somewhere that, that they're supplied with three, but that might be the... The, the duo the, with the five watt transmit function. So I've got two of those. Um, there's two sets of uh, audio cables with a three and a half millimeter jack plug on both sides for 
taking audio out, etc. So two of those supplied with it. There's um, a DC power cable for connecting to a power supply. Um, I'm not actually going to use any of that stuff, but nice that it's supplied with the rig. Another nice touch that you wouldn't maybe necessarily have expected in 2024. Um, the FDM SW2 software, which is kind of, for me, is what really makes this rig shine. Um, they supply, you get a copy of it on a uh, USB stick, weirdly. So, uh, and I don't need that because I've downloaded the latest version of the software last night anyway. Um, and then, um, okay, so that's a USB to a USB micro B connector. Um, another uh, DC power plug sort of supply cable. A uh, few other D type connector. So lots of cables and connectors and stuff, none of which I'm going to use, but um, nice that they were included, I guess. Um, both, all of the uh, ports on the back were sort of protected with these and I thought I'd lost them already, but I actually haven't. So that's what comes in the box. Um, what doesn't come in the box is a power supply. And to be fair, that kind of, I got a bit of a shock when that happened, when I bought the first one several years ago. Um, the guy at Martin Lynch said, you know, you, need, you do realize you need to buy a power supply with this. And I was like, really? So uh, they supplied me one, which actually failed. And, um, but uh, I, had, I, I had it replaced, I, but I had, to, I had to replace it. So, um, which I've done. Um, and uh, obviously I need to, um, uh, had to buy one with this rig. So they recommended the uh, Pro Audio Engineering KX33 low noise 14 volt 4 amp DC power supply. Um, and that's fine, but that in itself, only came with the cable that's hardwired into the unit to plug into the back of the radio. So all you get is that side. What you don't get is that cable here. But luckily, I'm a hi-fi separate uh, buff and um, I had a spare one. So, uh, so there you go. So that's the power supply. So... DC power in. Let's put the adapter in. PL259 to BNC. And I did have this tuned to 5505, uh, Shannon Volmet. Um, let's put the turn the power on. There you go. The audio on st in standalone mode is horrific, horrifically bad. Um, I used to use mine with a Bose Soundlink Mini, which I've still got, and that's the best way to use this in in in, in stand standalone mode. You do not want to be sat and listening to that audio that tinny for very long. So there you go. I'm not going to go through how it operates. I've done all that before with my original unit, you know, and it's all on the web. But um, yeah, so I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys what you actually get in the box. And um, I'm very happy to um, have this radio back. Um, it, it will spend 99% of its time being used on one of my laptops with the uh, FDM SW2 software, of course. But um, yeah, even though the ICOM IC 8600 is a great rig. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't live without my uh, Elad FDM Duo. So, and the R version works for me because the number of times I use my original uh, Duo uh, in transmit, you probably count on the fingers of one hand. Um, I did actually recently because my friend Nigel uh, G0CQZ uh, 
had a problem with his Neptune um, amplifier, so uh, he gave it to me to test it, and I used the Elad, and it worked perfectly. But um, yeah, other than that, on the very very odd occasion where I would use it on transmit, um, you know, it, it was simply I bought it for for medium wave DXing. Uh, was the original reason I bought it. I didn't actually buy it for its transmit capabilities anyway. So the R version works for me. Um, and I think that's about it. That's everything that's in the box. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, when I get around to it, there'll be um, uh, more videos using this rig, of course, as normal. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. 73.